I thank God for you every day. I thank God for you every day. I asked you to pass along this video last night, and you did. Uh, this video is traveling around the country, as well as our program, our Midnight Miracle Hour. Hi, folks. This is Pastor Dean Pepin, and uh, my ministry is the Healing Hands of Jesus Ministries you hear so much about. Listen, we have got to evangelize. How can we evangelize? Well, some of us can't knock on doors and some of us can't confront people about Jesus Christ because of different circumstances, but we can pass along this video. We can take it on Facebook and, and, and show it to all of our friends. And like last night, we had a tremendous response from atheists, people whose hearts were stirred by the message that I had given on the Midnight Miracle Hour. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jesus, I bet you wants to thank you right now <laughs> for, for, for spreading the word about God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. So please share this video. It's a way of evangelizing. It's a way of planting seeds in the kingdom of God. Listen to me. My signature verse is John chapter 14, 12 through 14. I was in a... a in in Walmart uh, this afternoon, this little old lady in a in a wheelchair came up to me and and was injured. She had fallen on the ice, or it was some some kind of a weird accident. And she was explaining everything to me right in front of a multitude of people at Walmart. And everyone was listening, and they all looked at me at what I was going to do. I went right up there and laid hands on her in front of everybody. I believe that woman is healed. She came to me right in the midst of everybody at Walmart. I believe God sent her there, and God wanted other people to witness my prayer for her. Well, the testimonies we're getting and the testimonies the church is getting, the healing power of Jesus Christ is real. If you need healing, if anybody in your family needs healing, make sure that you contact this ministry. Don't you leave a stone unturned. Cancer, hospital calls, you give me a ring. I will go there into the intensive care unit and I will lay hands on your family member and as Many times, many times I have been called by family members. I've gone into the intensive care units and the next day people have regained consciousness. I'm telling you, I believe in the power of Jesus Christ. And he said in John chapter 14, 12 through 14, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also and greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my father. Well, that's what I do. I do the same thing Jesus told me to do. Lay hands on the sick, pray for the poor, and it's working. If you are out of a job, you need prayer, you call me, you write to me, and I'm going to tell you we will defeat the devil together every single time. I am so convinced of that. We've got so much power and we don't use it. I'm getting all, uh, I'm preaching myself happy here. <laughs> I love you so much. I don't want you to be financially goofed up. I don't want you to be sick. I don't want your family. I don't want you to be worried. I love you too much. So contact me if you need me. Our prayer line, area code 203-982-9227, is available to you 24 hours a day, and I'll pick up the phone. It might be a sleepy voice, but I'll pray with you right then and there. I love you. That's why. Thursday night. Reserve Thursday night, this coming Thursday night healing service. What a beautiful, beautiful time we have. You'll go home so different. You'll go home so refreshed. I'm talking too much. God bless you. Have a good Sunday. Turn the clock ahead. Not back, ahead, ahead. We lose an hour today. That's not why, that's why I'm not doing the broadcast tonight. I'll see you tomorrow and, 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 uh, you have a beautiful day. God bless you. I love you. Say hello to your pastor for me. Bye-bye.